Emmy is a remarkable girl, right, Keith? She's a pretty awesome. Uh, girl, she, she really does some is. Yeah. Incredible stuff in the kitchen. Yeah. You can't sing, so we're going to the theater. I can't cook, which is why we're going to go to Chef Remy. As uh, he said, she's very remarkable in her kitchen, knows her way around, and she's got a healthy recipe that's easy to make. And we had a chance to join her at Metro Appliances and more. She cooked up a very tasty dish: pinto beans and greens with tomatoes. Great for a day like today. Once again, we're hanging out with uh, Chef Remy today. We are at the Metro Appliance and more in their Bosch kitchen. Beautiful. I love this cooktop. You were telling me about it. This is neat. Mm -hmm. It's an induction cooktop. Yeah. And so what I have here is I have some garlic and onions that I sauteed already. It smells great, by the I'm way. Like, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. And then we're going to add some diced tomatoes. You might want to be careful with this because diced tomatoes are cold and you're adding it to a hot pan. Can you just use like a canned diced tomatoes for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Then we have some pinto beans. Maybe these are also canned. Just yeah. A little neat tr time trick you can use. Now, one of the things that you were telling us earlier, too, is that uh, you like to do things that kids can do. So mm -hmm. a lot of your recipes, while they taste great, they're also relatively easy mm -hmm. for folks. Yep. They're easy for kids can make, except like whenever you're, they use a hot appliance, you probably want to have like parent supervision or adult supervision. You always want to be go. careful around that. Very smart. In fact, my mom's still watching me. <laughs> and... Um, I've added some chicken broth in there. Okay. Then we're going to heat this up. We want to bring it to a boil, so we can get some salt in there, a little bit of pepper, and actually, I'm going to stir this up one sec. And then, did you know that tomatoes are actually a superfood? And superfoods are foods that you should try to eat every day, mainly because they're full of a bunch of antioxidants and nutrients and minerals that are really good for you. Well, that sounds like it would be good for me. Mm -hmm. And it looks good in a dish, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong anytime you've got Garlic, onions, <laughs> tomatoes, and beans all together. Mm -hmm. But you're not through there yet. You want to do some mm -hmm. other things too, mm -hmm. don't you? So you heat this up, and then we have some Swiss chard. Then you're just going to put this in there. Now, I was telling you earlier, and I've heard of Swiss chard, but I've never mm -hmm. seen it. It's really colorful, and you were telling me there's different colored veins. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're red, sometimes, sometimes they're yellow, yellow they can be green. green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. It's a okay. nice rainbow. Let me get that in there. And then we're going to, let's get that, there we go. Keep that covered, all right. Mm -hmm. so, so what are we doing next? Okay, so we're going to let this sit just for a teensy little bit, just enough okay. to get the chard all really nice and little wilted and a little soggy there. And then you serve it on your plate. So, let's see. Actually, I'm going to check on this again. Okay. So, I'm gonna just this. so overall, how long would it take to get the Swiss char um, wilted? Only about like a couple minutes, probably two or three max. Okay. And then probably once you do it, you let it uh, cool down mm -hmm. a little bit. It's a nice side dish, and you yeah. can even use it as a main dish if you like. Okay, it's very nice. cool, and also very healthy for you as mm -hmm. well. Remy, you're incredibly you smart you? as usual. Nice pretzel. Thank you for bringing us over here and sharing no your problem. recipes. And they can all be found in your cookbook too, right? Actually, this one isn't. It's a nice. Old but guess recipe. what? It's on our website. Oh, what? There you go, k2l.com. Remy, thank you very much, young lady. Thank you. Knows what she's doing. Cook Time with Remy, presented by the folks at Metro Appliances and more. You can go to their website and also cooktimewithremy.com. And the recipe, as we said, is on our website at k2l.com.